Holy cow, this looks awesome. I am in Brady, Texas. I just got to D&J's, Good Old Days, Antiques and Ivy's, Alley Cat Savage. This place looks awesome. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to go inside. Totally my speed. Yes, like look at this. Oh my gosh. So cool. Let's go check it out. Oh my gosh. Let me make sure I lock my car. Okay, I did. I'm all good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so ready for everything here. So cool. Oh, these bugs. All right. Let's check it out. I am so overwhelmed. The gentleman just told me that they have four buildings. Oh my gosh. I don't even care if it's unaffordable for resale because I am so into this experience. It's absolutely insane in here. What? What is this guy? I don't even know what to do. I'm just like <laughs> so overwhelmed. Look at this. How fantastic. A beaver. Look at these cool maps and pamphlets. Oh my gosh, so cool. I love the graphics on that. What? Oh, this is so neat. Well, this is definitely one of those places where there's no way I'm going to see everything. You could spend days here, and I've barely walked in. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, my gosh. Look at... Oh, the clown. Oh, my gosh. The clown. Oh. Oh wait, okay, good. It's just a mannequin wearing a clown mask because I was like doing doing a strategic everything in my, what is that? Are those from the old lights from machines? I was trying to figure out how I was gonna be able to get that in my car. Wow, this is so cool. Oh my gosh, look at this. In everything, give thanks. So cool. Oh my gosh, there's that clown. Oh, this is amazing. Oh my gosh, look at the giant rabbit and poodle. Um, there's definitely no prices on him, but I might ask if he checks on me at the right time. <laughs> Epic. Oh my gosh, how neat. It's uh, like a rumpel that's been... <laughs> Uh, adjusted for lack of better words. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Oh my gosh, I love the graphic on that. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't even know what else to say. I mean, there's nothing you really can say. It's just really quite magical, honestly. Well, look at this situation happening picked out a few pins. None of them have prices. The deer are amazing. I'm going to ask him when he comes back. Look at the machines. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is happening? Oh my gosh. You guys... This might be one of those times where I just turn off my camera. Wow. 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 I have entered another dimension, I think. Dude. This is insane. All right, I can't ignore this situation any longer. 
Well, guys, I have to be honest. I just spent $141, and they brought me to their other location. And this is the most special pick I think I've ever had. To be honest, I'm going to keep most of it. And I'm having way too much fun to film, no offense. They said that this one was even more epic than the last. And oh my gosh, do I ever believe them. Trust me when I say this isn't the half of it. Hey everybody, this is as real as you're ever gonna see me. Yes, I know, my friend has a convertible van. He has multiple, it's so tight. Uh, I am in Austin and I'm trying to get this situation situated. Yes, it is really, really severe. And uh, yes, there is more in the car, the whole passenger seat, some of the driver's seat, as well as, um, as well as inside. So I really wanted to show you what happened in that incredible place I went to in Brady yesterday. Uh, I spent $482. Honestly, I could have kept going, except I ran out of money and space, basically. So uh, today, I am going to repack everything I got and along the rest of my trip, I'm shipping a bunch of stuff back to myself. I'm getting ready for my sale with Yvonne and Kathy and my whatnot. There's a lot going on, but if there's any chance of me making the final stretch home, I have to get organized. So in the meantime, let's show you what happened in Brady. Okay, so like I said, I ended up spending $482 in there. Uh, I bought two of these awesome milk cheers. <laughs> uh, cheer for your team. Look at the graphic on that. That's amazing. I think these are so cool. And they actually are... Um, I think they're from Pennsylvania originally, which is kind of ironic. Yeah, one of the most valuable Pennsylvania industries providing health and wealth to all. So cute. So I got two of these. Now I will say this is more of like a bundle deal. Uh, a lot of the salt and pepper shakers that are coming up, I paid anywhere from eight to $10 for, or sometimes 12, but most of this just was like, hey, put everything in a pile and we'll figure it out at the end, which is, a little stressful for me that's definitely not how i like to shop but um in this case it worked out so i can't tell you what i paid for each item because i don't really know what i paid for each item honestly <laughs> so the graphic on these are adorable um the box is a little rough but as you can see hold on Actually, yes that's much better my nails have seen better days but look at the graphic on this box and it's made in england uh, i usually just see them with the playing card graphic on it, but I couldn't resist this little cat and dog. Now this one he did give to me for $3. This is so funny too. This is like a vintage shaving mechanism, <laughs> uh, Venda magic block. And it does have the original block in there. He did give this to me for $4, the graphic on it. I just couldn't resist. It was, and it's weird, we love weird. I did pick up this little box. Uh, I guess it's supposed to have like a little gag gift in it. Um, or you, but I think it's for a handkerchief actually, now that I'm looking at it again, but I love the graphic on it. Now this one is epic, air made hosiery. Hold on, let me turn it around. Look at that, so amazing. I love stuff like this. Now it doesn't have hosiery inside. It does have the original stationery and stuff though. So I definitely snagged that. And I will say too, some of this stuff I'm definitely gonna sell, like the salt and pepper shakers and some of this weird stuff I bought. But honestly, I do intend on keeping some of this stuff, at least for the time being, like this. <laughs> uh, this is insanely cool. It is the entire original display. I don't wanna open it too much because I'm gonna pack it back up, but yes, it has all the old new stock in there. And in case you're wondering what this actually says, because I realize I'm showing this backwards, let me turn it around. I wanna be super delicate with this because this, this is like a once in a lifetime pick. Yes, it is exactly what you think it is. Hilarious. Now, this had some damage, honestly, but he kind of just threw it in. I couldn't resist the graphic on it. Um, the Dream Girl hosiery, so, so romantic. I love stuff like that. And then there's trinkets inside that I picked out. I got a couple of these new old stock barrettes. Um, one will probably be going in my sale tonight. And then, wait till you see this one. This one's amazing, this hair bow. The original everything. 
and then I also got the really cute little rhinestone deer pin as well as this phenomenal deer pin so cute and another metal enamel flower which will probably also go in my sale tonight because I'm really short on stuff on it and I have way too much stuff in the car and I'm very overwhelmed. And I also need to uh, make up a little bit for what I did in there, for sure. I mean, I'm like a little over halfway home at this point, so uh, I need to figure that situation out. Now, I also scooped up this incredibly gorgeous Victorian gloves box. Um, it did have a little bit of damage right here, so he was nice enough to fix it for me. Uh, this is amazing. I know he asked for 18 for this. Look at the lining. I mean, it was kind of a steal. I felt bad almost. It's so pretty. It's so hard to find these with the original paper and everything. I mean, especially this uh, decal on it. It's celluloid. It's amazing. They crack and break really easily, especially over time with weather and temperature oh it's so gorgeous and i love the holly berry print on this now this is where stuff gets really crazy the first set <laughs> okay well first of all let me tell you there was over 600 pairs of salt and pepper shakers she was unpacking as i got there and i know they were over 600 because they all were numbered and of course i wanted to stay more but like i said this was at the end of the day they were about to go home and I ran out of time and space and money and everything. Like everything you can run out of, I ran out of. But I was lucky enough to pick up some really special ones. There were other really rare ones that I wanted, but they all had damage. So I got super lucky. I kind of got first pick. Check out these strawberries. They are amazing. I love the large size. Next up, I have never seen this set. It's Bone China Cats. How cool. Now, these are probably going to go in my sale tonight. I'm going to set those aside. And yet another set I'd never even seen before. Check out the gloves with the cards on them. So neat. I've only ever seen this set in real life once. Well, that's not true. I've only had it once. They're super hard to find. These are in pristine condition. Check out these incredibly kitschy, cute giraffes. Another pair I was lucky enough to snag were the super rare, well, pretty rare <laughs> Tilso Humpty Dumpty salt and pepper shakers absolutely fantastic it's so hard to get your hands on a pair of these as a reseller I usually see them at antique balls priced at full-blown retail talk about cute I usually see these in figurines I never see them as the salt and pepper shakers the tiger striped cats so cute Here's one of the sets I paid up for, but again, it's kind of about cost average. Uh, this set is so fun. Hugging Poodle Salt and Pepper Shakers. I mean, I couldn't resist. They were only asking 15, which to be honest, it was super fair. So I didn't really question it, but I am so excited. I love the eyes, they're so fun. Check these guys out. I have never seen them ever before. They are marked Hold on, let me turn it around. So you normally see the marking as Pi, P-Y, but you never see it with the last name of it, which is Mayo, and I never say it right. So forgive me, but check out these Humpty Dumpties. Never have I ever seen these guys. I'm super excited, and I love the striped cap he has on. Pi usually goes for good money. Now there's some sets that don't really, but nine times out of 10, it's a safe bet. Now, I also got these incredible little pilot dog salt and pepper shaker sets with the luster wear. So fun. I've never seen these either. I basically grabbed like a good percentage of the ones I've never seen before. Now, this I definitely got for myself. I couldn't resist this assemblage she made. I am so obsessed. <laughs> oh, look at how cool that is. Now these are also scooped up. I have had different versions of them, but I don't think I've had this exact one. And they had their original rhinestone eyes. Super fun. This style usually goes for good, decent money. Um, these kind of like balloon people, really funny. So I'm gonna have to do some research on those ones when I get home. This is another pair I think I'm gonna throw in the sale tonight. Um, these used to go spaghetti dog, salt and pepper shakers, pretty hard to find. Um, they even have their original foil sticker, which is awesome. Love them. <laughs>
talk about rare never seen these ever in my life check them out they are Tilso they have their original um, sticker I've seen the ones that are like the rabbits and the dogs and the cats but these ones are super tall the other ones are usually about this big and uh, I do believe they're a whole hour design um, they actually are whole hour design I don't know why I thought I said but they're like the cleaning lady very cool I'm pretty sure that's what she is so these are another set that's definitely gonna take some homework. So this set I had uh, originally put back on the shelf and now I'm kind of seeing why. I'm realizing they are mi mix matched and that the uh, tip of the broom is um, broken off. I paid $12 for them, honestly. Uh, they're just really fun. I'll probably end up selling them as individual misfit shakers and I don't need to clean the fish girl up, but I just couldn't resist. So I think I'll still be able to make my money back. I just won't make money off of it. Another Misfit set I bought, I bought this one intentionally because I couldn't resist the bananas. Uh, I paid $5 a shaker. The happy pineapple was so cute and the banana, I mean, who could resist? This guy is spectacular. I might even keep the happy banana, I don't know. <laughs> they had so many of the anthropomorphic vegetables, I honestly just wanted to grab them all, but a lot of the sets were mixed matched. I grabbed a couple that I was just like, oh, I can't resist. Um, but check these guys out, so funny. All right, just a few pairs to go. Now, check these guys out. I couldn't resist the onion and the baseball. So, technically the set is mixed matched, but they looked really good together and honestly this one in particular wait no maybe they're not four fourth no they are yeah they're both made by the same uh, maker napco and around the same time period it's just different sets but still i couldn't resist look at this guy it's so funny now some of these i am realizing both have two holes instead of two and three but still these peanuts are really hard to find and they were eight dollars a pop um eight dollars for the pair i should say this is another set that's pretty incredible. Uh, these ladybug ones. I might throw these in the kitsch caboose. Um, I think I need like two, one or two items left for that. So I might set these to the side. These are probably my favorite. <laughs> that and the big strawberries. Uh, look at these pineapples. These are absolutely spectacular. The set is correct. They were asking $10. I grabbed them and ran them to the front. Now, that's not everything I got. I got one more thing and it's really weird. I wish I could show it lit up, but uh, I don't have electricity out here. It's kind of hard to tell how fabulous it is like this, but yes, it is a drum and it is a lamp and it lights up this phenomenal, I mean, the whole drum lights up and the lamp, uh, the bulb is underneath that. I think it was spectacular. So this is as probably rough condition as you're ever gonna see me, hopefully. And uh, that's what happened in Brady. So I'm gonna get back to it. I will see you guys tomorrow.